What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Today, I want to go to the Comlands. So, let's do that. I got a couple things I want to do over there. The final showdown was sh No final showdowns today. Now, specifically, I want to warp into Mount Gagazet. Reason being, uh, oh, I, well, I want to find the Chocobo lady, and where she is on the Comlands is determined by where you enter the Comlands from. And if you enter from Mount Gagazet side, then she is right near the entrance. And that's pretty convenient. And, well, I like convenience. It's pretty much by definition a good thing. So here on the Calmlands, we just come around the corner here, and she's right there. I just want a chocobo for transport for it, the moment at least. Now specifically I want to head to Remyam Temple, but I want to take a small detour to the Monster Arena. There's a couple things I need here. The first is this treasure chest. Now that we have the celestial mirror, we can open it, and it contains Yuna's Nirvana. And while I'm here, I might as well talk to this guy and see what rewards he's got for me. So from the uh, Cavern of the Stolen Faith, we get silver hourglasses. Ah, uh, sure. Now, none of this stuff I, um, I'm actually going to be able to kill, but I might as well steal from them while I've got some free, uh, free shots. Yeah, this guy's karma is pretty nasty. Like, Riku's killed almost nothing, and she took 13,000 damage. How much damage is Titus going to take? 91,000 damage. That's retarded. So yeah, I don't stand much a chance. Although really, I, if I really wanted to, I probably could kill this guy right now, but it would be way more work than it's worth. Ultimate Horned Beast, huh? So from that we get Light Curtains, and this is a Species Conquest. Um, you unlock them by collecting, I believe it's at least four of uh, a every type of monster from a specific species. Are there even more than one of these? Things. That's kind of nasty, but I wasn't expecting to win anyways. Although really, I think he's probably a pretty easy one. What's next? Oh, I guess I managed to collect uh, one of everything from Mihan High Road. Why that would create one of these things, I don't know. There definitely aren't any of these on Mihan High Road. So 
specimens from Besaid, huh? Bring it on! Strat to Avis, huh? Come on, kill me faster. Pain of the heavens. What's a pe 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 pain? 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 Whatever that word was. This one's from Gagazette, and for that, we get a Blossom Crown, which may not, its uh, use may not be immediately apparent, but it's really the main reason that I came here. Pop fly, huh? That was nasty. Flare. You got anything else for me? He's created a monster. Ooh, three stars. Those are nice. This is the Earth Eater. This is a unique creation. I believe to unlock... Whoa, that's a lot of defense. Wow. <laughs> he really annihilated me. I think to unlock him you have to get the... Species Conquest, um... Not Species. Area Conquest by capturing at least one monster from... Uh, of each type from an area for three areas. And what's this? Another unique creation. This is the Shinryu. Or Shinryu, whatever you want to call it. And this, I believe, you unlock by uh, capturing all the creatures from that little underwater area in the Cavern of Darkness, which uh, at the end of Mount Gagazet. I think that's the last one he's got for us. Yeah. Let's just take a quick look at the map here. So, Earth Eater, Shinryu, Juggernaut, Stratoavis, Kodos, come here guys, Stomp, Tomberry, and Kotobopas. That's what I got unlocked for now. Anyways. That's about enough for uh, at the monster arena for now. So now I want to head over to Remium Temple. Up the hill. Around the bend. Over to the little feather. And into the temple we go. Now, the reason I'm coming here is just because, well, 
gotten a few more Aeons since the last time I was here, so... I should come show that to Belgiumenia, I guess. Hit up the save sphere, just because I'm pretty sure my party is still at one health. Before I talk to Belgiumene, I want to kind of skirt the edge here and come back here. Use the Blossom Crown, which, uh, Blossom Crown we won from Belgiumene after we defeated her Bahamut. And now we can use the Flower Scepter that we just got from, uh, the catching all the monsters on Mount Gagazad. Actually, I think it's the other way around. The Blossom Crown is from the monsters and the Flower Scepter is from defeating Bahamut. Either way, you need to do both. And for that, we get a new Aeon named Cindy. And another Aeon named Sandy. And another Aeon named Mindy. They are actually technically all one Aeon. They are known as the Mages Sisters. Um, you may recall them from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, they were the, the three sisters that you fought in Golbez's tower. They did their Delta attack. Well, they are an Aeon in this game. They're interestingly unique Aeon, but we'll get into all that later. For now, I... well, I'm gonna take off. Next time, we fight Belgiumene and duel more Aeons, so I will catch you later on next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X.